Tina and I'm down on the beach and I've got with me... BeFit David. Hello everyone. Right, we've got some challenges for you to do down on the beach. Um, so we're going to learn how to do some throwing today. Um, so I think you can just see we've got a bat there that we've stuck into the ground, into the stones. And we've got a cone as well. But you can use anything. You could even use a water bottle. So what we're going to do is do some underarm throwing. Now I know some of you know how to do that, so can you show me? How do you do an underarm throw? That's right, take it under and throw. And what we're gonna try and do is try and knock over, knock over the bat. Should we see if David could do it? Go on David, okay, have a go. I'll give it a go. I'm gonna take a little stone so it's nice and safe. Oh, I think I'll use that one, that looks good. Uh, I'm going for the bat. Right, here we go. Oh, well done. <laughs> okay, so as David said, you need to make sure that you are nice and safe. So make sure you've got a big, big space and you don't throw it too hard. But if you're doing really well, you can get further and further away. Shall I have a go at the cone? I have a go at the cone. You have a go at the cone. Okay, I feel like I should do a drum roll. Right, now, what I need to do is I need to be looking at the cone. I'm going to bring my arm back. <laughs> that, that was very lucky, that doesn't happen normally. <laughs> Should we try it further away? <laughs> no, no, he's going to take it further away. Oh, that's so far. So do and you remember? The oh, and, and the bat. The bat. Oh. I tell you what, let's see if David can hit the cone this time. What do you reckon, David? The cone. You have a go at the cone. Oh, I'm going to have a go. Right, I've got to stand right up here. Uh, I'm going to take, uh, I'm going to take this little one here and I'm going to throw underarm because that's safer. Okay, here we go. What am I going for? The cone? Yeah. Here we are. Eyes on the cone, David. Oh! oh! It's harder when it's further away, so I've got to try the bat now, right? Okay. Okay. Oh. Here we go, Tina. Oh, this looks like a good one. Are we ready? Eyes on the bat. <laughs> that was rubbish, wasn't it? <laughs> oh, should we have one more go? We might as well. Okay. Right. Uh, I'm going to use... You might need lots of practice. You <laughs> could also try with your other hand as well. See which one you're best with. Look the stone. Right. I'm going to go for... I'm going to go for the back this time, I think. Because it's bigger. Mm. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Just over. Cone for me. Right. Ooh. Here comes Tina. Right. I think I didn't look properly last time, so eyes on the cone. Oh, oh never mind. We need them mind. closer, David. <laughs> I, I, think, I think you'll probably be better at this, won't you? Definitely. Yeah, definitely. definitely. Okay, so that's one challenge. So, our other challenge, we've just done an underarm throw. Do you know what? There's another throw that's the... What's this? Oh, I know that one. That's... Do you? So you're going to hold our stone. Under, so that must be. You got it. Over an overarm throw. Now for this throw, you need to make sure that you go down to the water's edge, and it's quite a long way away for us. So we're just going to show you what to do. But when you do this one, can you make sure you go down to the water and see how far you can throw your stone into the water? So there's no one around so we're okay we're going to throw it up here just to show you so david is going to go uh, first i'm going to go first i'm going to take i'm going to take that stone now i'm going to check first of all no one around there's no one around so there's nobody that can get hurt and i'm going to throw my my stone over arm you ready here we go brilliant okay, so that went a well long done. way didn't it it does it goes a lot further with an over arm Right. So, should we have a go? Oh, this is a big one. Make sure that no one's coming. As I throw over, I'm going to let the stone go when my arm is just coming over the top. Brilliant. Well done. So, make sure you practice that one as well. Yes, and don't forget, be right down by the sea when you do it, and it'll make a lovely splash in the water. Now, if you come down to the beach, you'll see there's a distance from being up the top here all the way down to the sea so we've got a challenge for you now to run from the top 
all the way down to the sea and all the way back up again <laughs> without stopping. And I'm going to give it a go. I think David's going to count. Yes. See how long it takes me to run all the way down and all the way back. <laughs> Tell me when to go. Are you ready? Count with me, everybody. On your marks, Tina. Get set. Go! One, two, three, four, five, six. There she goes. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, here she comes, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39 seconds. Well done, Tina. Oh, Brilliant. That's hard coming up the stones. Ooh. My heartbeat's really beating fast. Ooh. And I wonder if you could do it more than once. Oh, I don't think I can. Shall I have a go? Okay. Right. I'm going to take a layer off here because I'm. this is going to be warm. Ooh. So, excuse me, everybody. You're going to do the counting, Tina? I am. <clears throat> Right. I am, I am. Okay. Help me, everybody. You ready? Go! One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. 18, he's going, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. Amazing. <sighs> Ooh, it's hard, isn't it? How to get funny looks on Worthing Beach. <laughs> now, guess what? So we've set you three challenges to do at the beach. Yeah. Now, if you can do these challenges and take some pictures, so we've got some evidence that you've done it, you can ask your grown-up to send it to us, and I think we might have a little something for you. David, over there, oh, yes. show them what we've got. So, if you can complete the challenges, we will send you your very own, I'll hold it a bit closer, BFIT certificate. And this will have your name on it, and this will have the date, and this will come to you for being so amazing at doing the challenges. Well done everyone, and don't forget, when you've done your challenges, to drink plenty of water, yes. and also, do some stretches, you can stretch out wide, stretch out, touch your toes, put one arm across the body, and the other arm, one leg forward, sit back, that's it, and the other side, and if you're good at balancing, see if you can hold on to one foot, you might need to hold on to a grown up. And the other side. Well done, everybody. See you next time. Yay!